A father contacted 10 on your side after finding graffiti on a playground near his home. Someone spray painted expletives and gang insignia on the slides and the bars. 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings went to investigate who was responsible for cleaning it all up. Brandy. Well, Laura Stephanie, the park sits on Maple Avenue near a dog park and fire station. It's owned by the city of Norfolk, so they're ultimately responsible for it. But get this, it just opened in May of last year. Now, the dad who contacted us told me he has an idea of how the city can prevent this from happening again. You may not notice it at first, but take a closer look. Silver spray painted graffiti covers this playground on Maple Avenue in Norfolk. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's unacceptable. It doesn't need to be there. It upsets me because they just built this for the kids to have fun, and they're just ruining it for the kids. Different opinions, but the same sentiment. The written words include expletives and gang insignia, things we've decided not to fully show. If it had been, you know, little shapes and circles and things like that, it's one thing. But it's vulgarity, and there's kids that play here. My three year old son plays here. Joshua Grisoli first noticed the graffiti Saturday. He immediately called 10 on your side and alerted the city. Grisoli showed us these screenshots of the city's response to his Facebook message, saying they passed the information on to the facility's maintenance and police. I want people to know that we're paying attention, and it's unacceptable. And just because they thought it was funny, we don't. The vandalism didn't stop 10 year old Kayliana and her siblings from enjoying the park Monday during their summer break. If she had her way, this would never happen again. I would have it where they don't, they can't do graffiti. And if they did, they would get in, home, in a whole bunch of trouble. Grizzoli admits police patrols may not prevent it, but he thinks a surveillance camera would. People see that camera, they think they're being recorded, and they think twice about it. Now, after we started asking about this, city workers went out and started cleaning off that graffiti. Now, these pictures were taken this afternoon. Norfolk officials say there is a number for residents to call if you see graffiti. We've posted that number on our website, wavy.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.